Earth, 1950. Undercity isn't much different from Topside. Sure, it's a city of over a thousand, over a thousand aliens hidden miles under Earth's surface. But we all still have the same problems as the humans. Robbery, assault, rape, and of course, murder. So there's the next uh, shot. It's kind of hard to see with all this. Sorry, guys. Not really good at this. <clears throat> and murder, of course. So here, there's two detectives, actually. And there's a murdered nightclub singer. So moving on to the next page. Okay, but this doesn't look like murder. You're honestly drinking right now, Whitlock? This is Bormelian whiskey. It's 20 grand a bottle. I'd be foolish not to drink. An alcoholic detective. Mm. So, besides, I don't think she'll mind. Would it kill you to show just a little compassion? This is Venus Centurion. Oh, I'm aware. There's not an alien in Undercity who doesn't know her work. Here's the nightclub singer, and she's dead. And the detectives are talking about, you know, drinking, things like that. So, such sadness. She had so much life left to live. Clearly, she wasn't interested in living it. Look, look, Kane. She wouldn't be the first tortured artist to offer herself, and she won't be the last. So, apparently his name is, you know, just for fun. His name is Kane. His name is Whitlock. Two detectives. Her friends and family are adamant it wasn't a suicide. They said it makes no sense. It never does. Good writing. Good artwork, too. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful artwork. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> um... All right, if this isn't a suicide, what are you thinking? Jilted ex-lover? Unlikely. She's Nephalian. Okay, and that means what exactly? At least we were having a nice buddy cop moment. Gotten it up. You lived in the Undercity for how long now? How is it you know so little about different races that live here? There are hundreds of species down here. You can expect me to remember details. You can't expect me to remember details about all of them. Besides, that's why I keep you around, partner. So he has a partner now. Right? New characters introduced all the time. The Nephalians are hermaphroditic, or hermaphroditic, am I saying that right? Hermaphroditic species. Layman's terms, please. They have both male and female reproductive organs. They reproduce asexually. They don't have sex. No sex, no wonder she offed herself. I know the resolution is going to be weird. Crude as always. Oh, lighten up, Kane. I'm just not convinced this is anything more like than what it looks like. Humor me, at least. Take another look around with all of your eyes. Oh, I have been. He has a cybernetic enhancement, which allows him to see with all of his eyes. This entire time. All right. The entire time. So he has, like, this cool, like, uh, view where he can look at the crime scene from multiple angles. It's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool view. Security feed shows no one coming in or out all night. Scan the fire escape for fingerprints and footprints, nothing. No prints on the windows, jewelry and clothing worth millions, completely untouched. Oh, and the gun, turns out it's registered to her. So he's checking it out, you know, he's kind of looking it over. Almost like Minority Report, kind of looking at different angles. Um, let's see. Not a single sign points to foul play. 
Now give that guy some black hair and some facial hair, he'd be me. Maybe. Now, can we leave and get something to eat? So they am I eating now? Excuse me, Detective Whitlock and Detective Kane. Do you have a moment? So they're being stopped by a reporter. Damn, I've got over 20 eyes on you, darling, and that's still not enough. <laughs> Actually, a pretty good line. And then Detective Kane says, this is nauseating. Right, my name is Aurora Sands. I'm with FMZ. I was hoping I could ask you a few questions. This is good stuff. This is an ongoing investigation, Miss Sands. We have no comments at this time. FMZ, the comic or the gossip rag? I'll have you know we are a respected and award winning news outlet. These uh, blue things represent his eyes. I guess he has 20 cybernetic eyes that are kind of like uh, looking at people. That's pretty cool. He said, he says, or she says, I'm sorry. The reporter says, I think I'll, I might have some information that'll help with your investigation. It's all yours if I can get a few quotes that I can use in my story. Detective Kane says, we're not interested in rumors, Miss Sands. And Detective Whitlock says, it's facts, Detective. Did you know that Venus was trying to quit the music industry? Or that she had a falling out with her manager, Salvar Krell? And how would you know all that? Actually, she said that, I'm sorry. She said, it's facts, Detective. Did you know that Venus was trying to quit the music industry? She had a falling out with her manager, Salvar Krell. Then Detective Whitlock says, and how would you know all that? And she says, if it's about celebrity, FMZ gets it all. Doing her little cell phone looking microphone quote. Okay, so, do you guys like the new comic book? Is it cool? Okay, I'm gonna drop the sarcasm in case you haven't figured it out. This is not the Iron Detective, technically. Apparently, this is something called the Undercity Tales, and it's about two detectives. They're investigating a murder of a nightclub singer. Cyberpunk noir mixed with some alien sci-fi stuff. If it sounds familiar, uh, it's because that particular character, Detective Kane, is like a blatant ripoff of my character, the Iron Detective. I mean, he's got a trench coat, fedora, you know. I mean, I've had my character for a long time. Now, I don't want anybody to harass the artist or any of the artists that have worked on this because I respect, it's beautiful artwork. It's very, very good artwork. Very good, um, gorgeous in fact. Um, but a friend of mine pointed this out to me today and they said, have you seen this? And most of the time when somebody presents something to me that kind of looks like the Iron Detective, I'm just like, eh, yeah, I can see where that's, that, that, that wouldn't stand up. I mean, that doesn't really matter. But this particular publishing or artist or whatever, they, we have mutual friends, and I'm not going to bring up those friends' names because I want to respect their privacy. But we have mutual friends, and I find it very, very puzzling that there's a character who's a detective who's investigating a nightclub singer murder, you know, in a noir kind of atmosphere that looks very similar to the artwork that was produced for Sentinel, for my project, The Iron Detective, Sentinel. Um, I adapted Sentinel into an animation with some people. So this particular person, I reached out through mutual friends and I sent them a message, you know, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention their name, I'm going to be nice because, again, if you figure out who this person is, do not harass them. I am not endorsing that. Do not harass them. Don't dox them. Don't do any of that. I do not, I do not respect people that do that. What I, what I am, I would like to handle this in a compromising way because it is 
to me, it's obvious this person ripped off my stuff. So again, out of respect, I'm not going to mention the person's name, but I am going to give you the conversation. Okay. I'm going to read it out. So I said, hello, my name is Jason Turner. I wanted to reach out about your comic. And he said, I talked to so-and-so just a moment ago. Sorry if I delay in my response. I'm at work right now. And I said, no worries. I'm at work too. He said, he showed me an image of your iron detective. And I said, indeed. And he said, are you concerned of similarities? I said, I am. Let me say out of the gate, the art looks great. Smiley face. Okay, so I started on a positive note. He said, thanks. And I can see where you're concerned. So right there, and I'm, I'm jumping out of the conversation for a minute. Right there, he sees the similarities. So then he says, your character is a robot, question mark. Looks like a cyberpunk noir theme as well. So I thought about it and I said, I'd like to know a little more about your character. So he responded, the build he's in is more of a housing. He's actually not a robot. He's a vapor. You're free to read the book if you'd like to know details. I was like, cool, he's cooperating. So I said, how can I get a copy? Or has it been published yet? And he didn't answer for a long time. I don't know how long, but it took him a while to answer. So I waited and waited and waited. He didn't respond. So I said, okay, if I understand it correctly, you are launching a Kickstarter for it. Yes. Then he responded back. He said, correct. The book is completed. We just need funding to print. Okay. So I said, how much funding do you need? Because I was interested in probably investing if I could work out something here. He said, we're discussing how many copies we need to print. We want to gauge interest level before we launch. So this is where I started to kind of be polite but firm based on some advice from some friends and legal counsel. So I said, just to be clear, legal counsel approached me about this, but I don't want to harass you guys. I think it would be wise to team up and share the rewards. Well, that apparently was the wrong thing to say to this person because he didn't answer for a while. And then he said, I can't really discuss anything further with you at this point. I'm sorry. And I immediately typed back. I said, I understand. And then I thought about it and I thought about it and I had, I had to stick it to him just a little bit. So I put a laughing emoticon on the, I can't really discuss anything further with you at this point. I'm sorry. Now, granted, we have mutual friends, but I honestly, I will admit, I just friended this guy today and I friended him with the purpose to find out more information. So this is where his behavior changed. The rest of the conversation, he saw my messages, but he never responded. So I'm going to read verbatim what I wrote to him. And some of this is probably going to sound weird, you know, because it's kind of out of context, but I'm going to read it because I want to get this out in the open right now. Because if this person publishes this book, I'm going to have a problem with that. So I said, I understand. I said, but if you don't want to collaborate, you cannot use that design for Kane. Sorry. And I'm referring to Detective Kane, the guy that's clearly the doppelganger of my character, the Iron Detective, Alex Caliborn, Iron Joe. I said, I, would, I think it would be in your best interest to collaborate and build off of the existing audience I've worked on for years now. We have mutual friends, etc. It's clear what happened to us. And I meant that in the section of it's pretty clear what happened. I think whether you are subconsciously influenced or you just blatantly ripped it off, it's too similar to ignore. OK. I didn't say that. I'm just saying I said I think it would be in your best interest. We have mutual friends. It's clear what happened to us. OK. He saw all these messages but chose not to respond. 
I said, but I know you've just met me and I understand if you are apprehensive, that is not my intention. So he didn't respond then. So I waited a little bit, I was patient. And so I sent him a YouTube link. The first two YouTube link goes to the Sentinel teaser. So I sent him that link. He saw it. Then I sent, um, what else did I send? The Bitter Heart teaser, you know? I know this is second generation, I'm gonna do it anyway. For the owner of this fine establishment, also most likely a murderer, listen to me. Now, I'll say that a detective, you know, a detective in a trench coat solving a murder, that's been done. I mean, that's been done to death. I get that. Here's the thing. If this person is watching the video, if you're watching this right now, I am actually imploring you to contact me about this. We can settle this out of court <laughs> and we can settle it peacefully and civilly because I understand how hard it is to make this stuff because I've been working on it for a long time. But put yourself in my shoes, you know, put yourself in my shoes and feel how wrong it would be if I just said, oh yeah, that's my guy. Mm, I'm going to take him from you. I'm going to publish a book. I'm going to try and get it published. Dude, you can publish it anyways. I mean, you you could have published it without, you know, this kind of, I don't know what the word is, bad publicity, you know. Maybe there'll be good publicity. I don't know. But I, do, I don't want to be adversarial. I want to be helpful. So let me get back to the message. I'm sorry, guys. I got sidetracked. I showed the Iron Detective page. I sent a link, you know. He was a cop before he was a detective, you know. When the funding got pulled, he became a detective, all right? So this was, you know, and he saw that he guess he every time I posted it, if it wasn't like 30 seconds later, it was at least a couple minutes later, he saw the message. So I said, I haven't drawn up cease and desist papers yet. I'm just making it clear that you cannot use that design for Kane. That design is Alex Caliborn, the Iron Detective, aka Iron Joe. When I said legal counsel, I wasn't threatening. I'm just being polite, but firm. Waited a little bit, no response. So I was getting the sense that this guy was scared or maybe he just, I don't know, maybe he was deleting all the files or everything, but I had a feeling that something, he was probably gonna block me or something. So I was just like, all right, I'm gonna keep going. Cause we were still, we were still technically friends at that point, technically. So I said, if you had approached me about the design, we could collaborate, change Kane's story a bit, make him my character, and we collaborate. Alex Caliborn is the Iron Detective. I do like the buddy cop idea, and I do like the noir vibe. I just beat you to the punch. Instead of not publishing the comic, you could publish it and make some changes in the text, and I will allow you to use the character and design in collaboration. I would even be willing to, or let's see, I would even do an animation or film in the future if you guys want. Hollywood is hungry for content. I'm trying to ally our ally artists, not separate them. He didn't respond to that. So then finally I said, you've been very quiet, <laughs> LOL. Please don't misunderstand my intentions. And by the way, I had a typo earlier. I said, you could publish it and make come changes. I meant some changes. So I have a feeling if he, if he tries to repost this and edit it, I don't want any misunderstanding. So I'm trying to read it exactly as it is. And I've copied and pasted this and done screenshots. So then I put, I put this photo. Um, cyborg police are called Iron Joe units. That was a suggestion from a um, friend of mine. You know, it's like maybe he's not Iron Joe, maybe Iron Joe is like, you know, oh, you're just a regular Joe, Blade Runner 2049. 
hologram assistant, detective. Anyways, Warner Brothers would crush me, I think. <laughs> uh, here's, here's another thing I thought this was interesting. <clears throat> Look at this old picture. This is an old picture of the Iron Detective from a long time ago. That's a still from Bitter Heart. And then, yeah, that's the very first helmet that was aged, metal, round ears, round eyes, you know, angular mouth. And then there is a detective, you know, artwork with a hat, tie, collar, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Noir. Now, I, well, I'm going to cover up this picture. Well, no, I have to cover this one up. Because this one's public. This is all public. I've got nothing to hide. So I've got nothing to hide. I'm being polite and hiding this guy's identity right now. Okay. So again, do not harass this person. I'm trying to be cool about this. All right. So my artist friend, Sim Aston, uh, did this fantastic poster, which is actually right behind me. Um, beautiful work. And this poster actually was an early draft of the poster. This became the Iron Detective poster. But originally it was just for Bitter Heart. But you can see the nightclub singer, Brandy Lee, is here with a cyberpunk, you know, person from a club. You've got Jess, the holographic assistant. You've got the Dark Rider, the Iron Detective, and his alter ego, Alex Caliborn. Oh, look at that. Two men in the same photo, and they're both detectives. Now, in my world, this is the same person. It's one, it's one with his without the helmet, one he's not. In this Undercity Tales, there's two guys and their partners. So actually, that's a pretty good idea. I have to admit, it's a cool idea. It's just too close to mine, okay? I feel like an asshole, but I just, ah, I, I can't let this one slide. I'm protecting my work, and everybody who's worked on this, do you think I'm wrong? I mean, come on. All right, here we go. Here's another sketch. This one is from 2014. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And I said, this is from 2014. Does it look familiar enough to make you see why I am concerned? I honestly asked him. I said, no response, question mark. Of course, he did not respond. Protect your work. You're damn right I'm going to protect it. So I said, well, I hope we can work something out. I'm trying to help, not hurt. And honestly, even now, I'm trying to help this guy and his team. And the, I mean, the artwork is gorgeous. It's gorgeous artwork. So I said, I'm trying to help, not hurt. And then I put a link to the actual anthology, which has another picture of my character. Yeah, you know, all the chapters that are produced right now. I haven't even sent him links to the... Uh, trailers and everything for the new stuff because I didn't have a chance. Uh, I sent him the link to the uh, IMDb for the Iron Detective Sentinel, you know, which is based on the comic book, you know. Nightclub singer. I said, when business is slow for private detective Alex Caliborn, aka Iron Joe, he takes on a bodyguard position for a sultry nightclub singer. This had gone. This was going on for a few hours. Like I would, I would type something. No response. So I look, went back and looked at what he said, you know, and I looked at what he said earlier. He said something about, let's see, we want to gauge interest level first before we launch. So I looked back at that and then I said, people will not be interested if they think you stole from another artist. I'm just being clear. No response. I waited and waited. And I said, I hope we can find a solution. And I waited. And actually at that point, I waited for like two hours. I said at 725, I said, I've got nothing to hide. How are you doing? Didn't respond. So at 726, I said, I'm willing to help promote your work. Make sense? And he saw that at Wednesday at eight o'clock. And so I went to click on his link to the five first five pages that he published on his page. And here we go. 
you can't reply to this conversation. He blocked me. He blocked me. If that, no, it's not immature. I think he's just scared, you know, and brother, you should be scared because you can't steal other people's work. Um, that, that's, that's just not cool. You know, now here's the thing. If we didn't have mutual friends and if we didn't have, you know, you know, similar themes or whatever. So <clears throat> that being said, I don't want, like I said, I don't want anybody to harass this person or his team. They've obviously worked very hard on the comic book, but somebody in that chain has stolen my idea. And I'm using social media, you know, as a public, a public thing. I want this to go viral if necessary. Um, you know, I've got, I mean, I've got <laughs> stuff of the Iron Detective in the trench coat, you know? I mean, I've got stuff. This is the guy. I mean, this is my guy, you know? Iron Joe, you know? It's, I've got a well-established, you know, history of the stuff I've done. The comic book was published November 12th, 2014. Um... It's in physical copy. It's in digital copy. You know, it was free for a while. I mean, I posted pictures of it. I mean, it's it's out there for people to read. I just want to say, it's business. Don't make it personal. Be proactive. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. I am being proactive. Um, I have to protect my investment. I've invested a lot of time and energy and money, and to be perfectly honest, other people's money into this project. Um, I had a Kickstarter and I'm finishing up the edit as we speak. I mean, I would be doing it right now, but I'm taking, putting out this fire if I can. Um, but yeah, buddy, if you see this, do not publish that book. I'm just saying, please don't publish that book. If you do, well, then there will be consequences. That's all I'm saying. So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, sorry to hear about this. I know you work way too hard on this. This sucks. What do you need from us? What I need from you guys is to just keep your eyes peeled, uh, take a look at it. I can private message people if they want to look at it. Um, but like I said, please don't harass this person. That is not my intention. Um, I want to be professional about this. Um, and I, like I said, I'm, I'm coming out and coming, I'm coming out and putting this out into the air now because if later, if this person tries to say, yeah, this guy was being rude and no, I just read the conversation to you guys verbatim, and I have a copy of it. I have screenshots. I have, I'm good. I'm good on this. So um, what do I need from you guys? I need you to just back me up. And uh, the Iron Detective is so close, so close to being bigger than just, you know, what it has been that I have to protect it, you know. And um, I don't want people to get confused because, uh, I mean, that's – that not only would it here's the other thing let's say somebody sees my work and then they get it confused with his work if you know you know if i had if i didn't know about this today he may have went ahead and had the kickstarter and published it and boom you know that's it or indiegogo or whatever he chooses to try and publish it with but you know it's not it's just not it's just not good business yeah. the iron detective is very public so um, there's been stories, there's been, you know, campaigns. I've done like over 120 updates on the campaign. I've published artwork, you know, I've, I've shared videos, you know, this stuff predates this person's stuff by a while. So, um, share this video all over the place, make it go viral because, um, I don't know what else to do because the guy just completely clammed up and hid. Now he's hiding. And the way he's acting to me, he's acting guilty, you know, and I would rather do the right thing and just say, hey, man, 